what's your name? Where you from? Dallas Diamond. Uh, from through some music. Everything in Virginia is top 40s, really, in the Richmond area. If it's not something that people have heard, they're not going to get down with it. They're going to be like, mm, give you the awkward moment of silence and look like, okay, next. How old were you when you started singing? As long as I can remember, for real. But as far as like being serious about singing, mm -hmm. probably high school. Because you know, everybody goes through that, oh, I want to play in the NBA yep. type thing. But once that was like, mm, it's not going to happen. Because it's like, all right, well, let's do the music. There's no really, nobody really that I said that I aspire to be like, other than Michael Jackson, everybody has a Michael Jackson. Like, I tried to go to school a couple of times with the loafers on, the white socks, the gym socks, and a jacket with a glove on, but mom won't have it. My biggest influence is probably my grandma, because she sings as well, and I kind of grew up watching her, like, you know, admiring the things that she does, but as far as, like, music-wise, my dad always gave me, like, Donny Hathaway CDs, and, you know, like, Luther Vandross, and, like, even for real, Craig David. I had some Craig David stuff when I was younger. But all mature artists, like, I was listening to grown man R&B music at a young age. Real old school music. Or like Sam Cooke type. That's how I learned to sing, because I never took vocal lessons or anything. So a lot of different stuff from pop to old school R&B to modern R&B to country. A whole lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. I can hear a little countryness in your voice. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Coming into the industry, mm -hmm. I would say that my, my genre is more pop. More, more so pop. Mm -hmm. But once I settle in, it's gonna be more R&B type. You know, cause everyone has to do that. This is what the label wanna hear. This is this is what people wanna hear. This is what's gonna get you out there. Things that I do naturally are mostly like ballad type stuff. What I really wanted to do was get in the industry first as a songwriter. Cause my thing was, you know, like, say for instance, I get into the industry and doing an artist and things don't work out. Nobody wants a song from the artist that didn't make it. Right. Then blah, uh, what, uh. Right. You know, but if you get in as a as a songwriter first, and then you do the artist, then you'll always be a songwriter. Like Neo, The Dream, Kerry Hilson. If they fall off, they're still going to write hits, and people are still going to make it, because they, they had bank before they even started doing the artist. Mm -hmm. I have songs written from rock songs to country songs to pop songs to everything. So as an artist, you can't be all those things. So that's why I wanted to get in as a songwriter to kind of feed those out. We're working on shopping some songs out now. How do you keep everything original, keep everything sounding fresh? My sound pretty much is what it is from a compilation of a whole lot of people because that's how I kind of became who I was by taking a little bit of some gospel, taking a little bit of some R&B, taking a little bit of some country and putting it in and kind of making my voice, you know what I'm saying? I just like doing good music. Ryan Leslie is in with that tip because, you know, everybody's talking about some crazy stuff now and Ryan Leslie's really getting back to let's talk about love and it doesn't have to be just a ballad. We can talk about love, we can talk about having a good time and you can bob your head to it. People are not really used to hearing songs about love, songs about having a good time in that same field where you're used to hearing rap. It's just like fashion. Okay? And a lot of people say, you know, fashion's always ever changing, blah, 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 blah. And the biggest thing is not a, not to be on the cutting edge of fashion, it's to have your own style. Because your style will transcend to anything. Music for me is the same thing. Well, I, got, I got some stuff for the yeah. I got some baby making type stuff. <laughs> I'm the, it's cooking. It's mm -hmm. cooking. We got some label looks. We got, you know, a lot of people just trying to get, you know, come you know, my way, we just gotta figure out what's the best course of action for me to figure out where I'm gonna fit at, what's gonna be best for me, so. All right, so if you could sum up your music in one word, what would it be? Yeah, I would say it would have to be love. Love has so many aspects to it, whether you wanna talk about sex, you wanna talk about fighting, you wanna talk about depression, you wanna talk about being hurt. Love is, is everything that we live for, really. A lot of times, I'll just kinda put myself in an inspiration mode. At 18, I haven't experienced everything there is to experience in the world. And a lot of people say, well, if you haven't really experienced such and such, such, how could you write about it? The biggest hurt in being creative is experience. Because your imagination is limited to what you know. You know what I'm saying? If you don't know anything, then your imagination can go so much farther. Oh, my friend.